All right, everyone. So the Broly going to Beerus's planet was the what if that won out. Uh, now, someone kind of put it in the um, comment section of that um, poll. Uh, this is actually only going to be a one shot uh, for very, at least in my opinion. Now, should note that the individuals who gave me the suggestion are Brad and Wade Wilson. Uh, who I just saw with Death, uh, with Wolverine earlier today on my dad. But, so, why do I think this is a one-shot? Well, first off, we have to understand the context of what if the Dragon Ball Z Broly went to Beerus' world. We can easily pass off the excuse of wormholes, time manipulation, dimension of it. It happens in Dragon Ball Z. It's not far-fetched to think that somehow Broly, after things went south, went to, landed on Beerus' world. And Paragus died in the process. Now, the thing about it is this. We used to find the young Broly. Broly used to start acting. I was like, my word, a little sane child. How did you find your way out here? Hmm, I probably should release you, but I suppose I can at least take care of you. So you're good enough to fend for yourself. Uh, and so Broly, he raises Broly as best he can. And Chad tries to teach Broly. Broly's rage gets tempered a little bit, but the immediate problem here is this. This What If is about the Dragon Ball Z Broly, not the Dragon Ball Super Broly. See, the Dragon Ball Super Broly is a relatively peaceful, almost pacifistic individual. But the Dragon Ball... Sorry, did I say Dragon Ball Z? The Dragon Ball Super. The Dragon Ball Z Broly is kind of a menace, even as a kid. Like, this this shot I have here, this little uh, thing I cut out for him, he is... That, that was somebody who was a young man. Not even what we met in the movie. And he was still just rampaged and went crazy and had a rage moment. He was a menace. He was a monster. Broly is the devil. <laughs> um, so, because of that, even though I think we could help curb his rage a little bit, eventually, when he feels Broly is old enough, he will just kind of place him on a, a planet and just leave him to fend for himself. In this case, probably Bompa. And because of that, the majority of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, nothing changes at all. He would just go, but they would just go about their business whatsoever. It's not until, it's not until the Tournament of Power shows uh, comes up that Broly would come back into the fray because they do because we would remember this powerful saying that he, that made his way, guy, story over myself, that made his way to Beerus' planet all those years ago. And so he would eventually find Broly, who's surprisingly been tempered out with his solitude. He's kind of killed a lot of individuals on that planet. Despite the destroying galaxies thing, that's over a series of time, but admittedly, Broly can't survive in space. Like he just can't. I mean, he can survive, but he can't live in space. He can't breathe in space. Eventually, he'd run out of air. And so, Broly can't really go planet hopping in the same vein as he did in the movie because he had the help of Paragus and his and the ship for that. But eventually, they bring Broly here. Broly suddenly meets you know Goku. It's a like, Goku. It's a like, Kakarot. Shut up, Kakarot. Another Saiyan. Like, Kakarot. He just kind of starts going uh, crazy. The problem for Dragon Ball Z Broly is very simple. He is chump change compared to super level characters. Compared to Dragon Ball Super Goku, uh, Gohan, even Piccolo, honestly. Uh, Vegeta, 17. And his canon counterpart. The Dragon Ball Z Broly is a is well, they make mince meat of his ass. So when he tries to rage out, Goku really puts him in his place. And we says to comment, "No, no, Broly, you you can't go off the rails like that." It's just and so Broly calms down. You'll have plenty of individuals to fight. You just remember, you can't kill them. And so they bring him in. The tournament of power goes down about the same. Up until Broly starts rampaging and starts taking random individuals out, which would include individuals like Ani Raza, or some of the components for Ani Raza, some of the Universe 4 members, Universe 10 members, maybe he takes out a little bit of the Pride Patrol, uh, or Pride Troopers, 
maybe or, or maybe our universe six individual here or there. Eventually, he's kind of, he's going so ham and he's going so insane that Jiren himself, just as he saw with Kale, looks at him and goes, "Yeah, you're a problem," <clears throat> and just takes him out. Now, because of this, there's a big problem here. One, Kani Raza doesn't happen. So the individuals who end up fighting in that tournament or in that fight should still all be available, except for the fact they're missing Frieza in that scenario. Even if Broly took out some of the Universe 4, Universe 5, Universe 6, or whatever, the extra universes, some of them, I am still see everyone who gets knocked out getting knocked out in the order they get knocked out in. But with Broly replacing Frieza, Goku doesn't end up getting that boost of energy he did in the original. Nor is Broly there to help aid Goku in his overall fight with Jiren in the long haul. Also, no Frieza there, and only having Gohan, 17, Vegeta, and Goku there, they would be struggling a lot more against Dispo and Topo, to the point where they not, may not be able to win. In which case, then, universe even if we are lucky enough to make it all the way to Goku going to Ultra Instinct, that's a big if, they would still lose because there's no one else. 17 would probably be knocked out in this version as opposed to being say it's not sacrificed itself and hiding in the rubble. Go on, we know would have gotten knocked out. Vegeta ends up getting knocked out. So even if Goku does win his fight with Jiren, we know he's not going to be able to do the finishing blow and Jiren ultimately win. And unfortunately, Jiren doesn't have the forethought to be like, I wish for all the universes back. He'd have his own wish. And this ends the series because they wipe out all the universes. So if the Dragon Ball Z Broly were to make it to Beerus' planet, that's a big problem. Now, Dragon Ball Super Broly, Dragon Ball Super's Broly, that is a very different Broly and someone we actually could do a much more in-depth what if what if on. I still think it would probably be a one or two shot, but it would still be a more in-depth story than the rage child that we have that is Broly in Dragon Ball Z. But I digress. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.